Today is November 1st. You know what that means? It is Rovember day one. If you have not signed up for Rovember, first off, as we're, signed, as we're getting strapped in here, go to the description below, sign up. It means you're gonna get a workout every single day this month in your inbox, every day. And every Monday, I'm gonna be doing the workout with you. So you gotta get signed up. This is the fourth time we've done it, the fourth annual. It is a blast. Last year we had 7,000 people do it. This year the target, 14,000. Can we get it? Do you wanna join us? If you wanna work out every single day of the month, then this is the one for you. Now, with that being said, doesn't matter what machine you're on, go ahead and grab your handle, sit ready at the catch, and we're gonna start warming up. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. All right, just nice, gentle movement to start. Now, Again, this is the beginning of November, so this is a big deal. Listen, one of the hardest parts of moving into the holidays from Halloween through Thanksgiving through Christmas is just staying on target. I get it, it's tough. It's really hard to make sure that you're staying on top of moving. It's, you we're traveling constantly, meals and dinners with different people, it's hard. And we aim to make that just a little bit easier for you throughout November by emailing you a workout every single day. They're all fun. Some of, them, some of them are crushers, some of them not, you know? But the whole point is just that you have something to go off of, that you feel like you have a target for the month. And so, if you haven't signed up already, once you're done with this workout, link is in the description below. Make sure you go sign up. Now, secondly, big shout out to today's sponsor for the workout, Roan. Now, everything that I am wearing is incredibly comfortable, first. Second, today's workout is going to include a couple distance intervals. Now, the first distance is gonna be 700 meters in honor of the Mako seven inch short that I'm wearing right now. So, if you're looking for apparel that you can wear head to toe, hat, socks, shorts, shirt, all the most comfortable that you can possibly put on your body. This shirt is like wearing a cloud. I can barely even tell that I'm wearing a shirt. Am I? I am. Yeah, I'm wearing a shirt. I gotta have the microphone clipped to something. It is so comfortable. It's the Swift t-shirt. I love these shorts. They're the perfect length to highlight these long legs. So big shout out to Roan for today's video. Now today's workout, as I mentioned, is gonna be some distance intervals. Now that's a little bit different than normal. Normally we just run against a clock. So what I want you to think about in today's workout, the intervals are going to be different distances. I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing just yet, but the point is, if I finish before you, you have two choices. You can either stop when I stop and do less distance, but the same amount of time, or you can continue rowing into the rest period once you get to the end of the distance that you are going, that we're gonna row, you can then pause the video, take your two minutes rest, and then jump to the next start of the chapter at the top of the two minutes and start the next interval with me. So, we got about 10 seconds till we kick off. First thing you know, 700 meters, the stroke rate is gonna be 28 plus. So light and quick, going in three, two, one. Picking it up, here we go. 28, that's our target, I'm right on it. Here we go. Whoop, drop down, there we go. Got it to where I need it. This one's gonna bring that heart rate up, heart rate up pretty quick. Something I like to think about when I'm in those high stroke rate intervals is making sure that I'm quick at the catch. Notice how there's no wait time up at the front. <sighs> Come and join me there. When I was rowing, our coach spent so much time with us, making sure that when we got to the catch, we didn't hang the blade, as it's called. We didn't hang out. <sighs> you got this sense of urgency when you get there <sighs> to start the stroke. Any hangout time really creates disconnect between you and the machine. So, when you get there, 
Think about a quick push of the legs. And now that seems a little bit counterintuitive. You may want to start pulling with the arms. But when the arm bends, the power ends. So as soon as you break the elbow, your musculature up here has to start working. Why is that a problem? Well, the arms are much weaker than the legs, the hips, and the trunk combined. So when you're trying to deliver power to the machine, if you're pulling with the arm, you're using your weakest muscle group to do it. So don't do it. Be smart. Keep your arms long. I'm closing in on my final 100 here. 100 meters to go. Right there. Fifty meters. Twenty. And there's the finish line. Two minutes of rest here. Yes, please. Record rowing workouts. <laughs> Thank you, watch. All right. So, whether you're continuing to row, or whether you're stopped with me, either is great. So you can choose to get the distance and a longer time, or keep the time, get a shorter distance. Or maybe you beat me. Hey, I hope you did. And you get some extra rest then. That's a great thing. Because right now we get two minutes of rest. Man, I have so many things to click, start, <laughs> record, record. I forget everything inside of these workouts. Now, if you can hear that my voice is a little hoarse, you'll have to excuse me. Having children lends itself to getting colds. If you're a parent, you know that. So I'm currently at the end of one. <clears throat> it makes breathing a little hard, but less about me, more about you. We have 45 seconds left until we're gonna start. Next up is gonna be 1400 meters. Double the distance, rate's the same, light and quick. Now, something I want you to think about here, we've got twice the distance. If you were following stroke rate with me, great job. If you weren't on this one, think about being a little lighter and quicker to match me. And if you're wondering, how do I match stroke rate? Maybe you're a whole lot shorter or taller. If we catch at the same time, you'll have the same stroke rate as me, I promise. So, getting ready to go. Picking up number two, 1400 meters in five. Three, two, one. Here we go, starting off now. Right at 28. Gotta set the tone. So if you didn't do the math, at the end of this, we will have done 200 meters. Oh, I just told you about the last interval. You didn't hear that. <laughs> this is a fun one today. Here's what I want. You dig in. Use those legs. Learn how to push on the machine. Know that every stroke, you're doing it for you. Not for me, not for the people around you. You do it for you. You're putting on your own oxygen mask first. Settled in here. This feels good. It's right on a 28. Get groovy with me. Feel the rhythm of your stroke. Feel how to make it long while hitting stroke rate. There's the thousand meter mark.
We're doing this together, shoulder to shoulder. You and all the other dark horses around the world. 160,000 strong. Beautiful part about a dark horse is that a dark horse knows another dark horse. You know that you work when it hurts. You work when no one else wants to. In the mornings, odd hours of the night, when you can squeeze it in, because you got priorities, and you set the tone for yourself. Coming up on halfway, there it is, 700 left. Wherever you are in the piece, double down, recommit. I'm cruising with you here. Currently at a 146 pace. Five hundred to go. Four hundred. Keep that rate. Three hundred. We're doing this one smart. Make a move on your power here. Push. Keep the rate with me. Just push more in the legs. Final hundred. Thirty. Ten. Time. Right at a twenty eight on the raid. Finish that one at a 146 flat. Definitely beat my previous time. That's what you want. Keep getting warmer as the piece goes on. Make sure you're breathing now. Prep yourself, get ready to go. This next piece is gonna be an important one, your final 700. Again, we know the rest period, two minutes, one minute left on that rest period. We know the rate, this is just 700 meters. 700 meters between you and the end of your first November workout. Thirty seconds to go. Close your eyes for a second. Picture why you're here. Picture what you're doing. Whatever time of day it is, wherever in your house you are, maybe you're at the gym. 
Bring your reasoning, bring your why. Don't just get this workout done. Thrive in this final interval. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. 700 meters. Try to beat the split of your last piece. You know exactly what your target is. Be smooth, be strong. The rowing stroke should not feel jerky. It should feel connected. Use the body to push the machine away. Four hundred meters to go. I'm at a one forty-four point three right now. Wherever you are is perfect. Just stay on it. Three hundred. Here's to the end of November, day one. Bring it home. 100 meters. Ten. Time. So the workout's done, but the cooldown's not. Keep swinging it out with me. We don't stop right away. We keep taking strokes. Why? Because the finish line, just another point in time. Well, that piece may be finished, Life goes on beyond it. A dark horse never quits early. And when you're tired, it is the absolute best time to double down on your mechanics. So if you notice right now that you're being a little sloppy with the way you move, iron it out with me. Let's clean it up together. One minute to clean up technique. Push with the legs, swing with the hips, snap the arms. Legs, hips, arms. Now reverse it. Arms away, hips close, legs bend. That one's tough. Arms, hips, legs. It's the hardest part to learn. Arms away, hips close, knees bend. Notice the legs wait until the handle has passed the knees. Why? So we don't have any up and down movement. Also, so that we maintain contact with the handle and that we don't have any chain slap. Chain slap robs us of power. We don't want that. 10 seconds, we're taking our final strokes here. So if you enjoyed this, you better go click that link in the description below. Sign up for November, it's free. A workout every day this month. Can you do it? The month of November. Go ahead and set that handle down. Whoops. I wanna see you inside November. And if you want more of this, make sure you check out our intermediate workout playlist for more workouts, but that is not gonna be nearly as good as November. Come join me.